Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I am really excited to be part of this collaboration with Graphics. And um, my name is Beth Kluth. Um, my company is Ink Art by Beth Kluth. I've been working with alcohol inks for probably around seven years and teaching for six. Um, we were given a number of different products to pick from. I use graphics products a lot. I use their white, opaque, the black, the matte film. I do use the clear sometimes, but um, not, not a lot. So I thought that would be a good product for me to really experiment on. So I am going to be working with the clear, crystal clear craft plastic. Um, like I said, I've used the um, clear film um, in the 9x12 pad um, for a number of things, and I'll show you that maybe at the end. But this is the thicker, um, the thicker version. It's 0.02 inches thick. Well, it's going to be backwards. Never mind. <laughs> and 500 microns thick. So it is similar to maybe like a like a thin acrylic almost um, when it first came I thought oh they have transparent or translucent craft plastic but it is um, crystal clear but it has a film on it so all of these sheets you just have to scratch with your finger at the corner and then a film comes off and the film is to protect your surface until you're ready to use it I can get this off and it's a really it's just a really thin film that comes off and there's one on both sides so you have to take it off of both sides <clears throat> for the project tonight I thought um, it would be easier to film and probably easier to do if it was a little smaller than the 12 by 12 size that it comes in so I have cut one 12 by 12 sheet into four six by six pieces so you can sort of hear like how thick they are and what I want to do with these is a layered painting one thing um, about alcohol inks that um, one thing about watercolor that I like that alcohol inks can't necessarily do is um, layer over each other without disrupting what was already there because if you layer over alcohol inks it's going to reactivate what's there unless you put um, layers of resin in between or something else so I've been playing around with painting different parts of a painting on the different um, pieces and then putting them together. Um, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do tonight. So let's get started. Okay, here I have my four pieces. Um, I already took the film off. And I'm going to do four layers. So I'm going to start with one layer here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, do sort of flowers that overlap. Um, I'm going to start with um, yellow and I can put it in a palette or I can, I'll try to do it in a palette. Okay, put some yellow on here. So I'm, I want to just sort of have um, very simple shapes. Just very simple shapes. And one down here might just be, maybe if I just go like that, it won't turn into a big blob. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> this one we can always clean up with a napkin and some blending solution or some alcohol. So we can just sort of go in like that. Well, this one sort of bloomed out into something else too. Oh well, it's perfectly fine. Okay, so we have two, we'll call them flower shapes, if not that they're, they're actually flowers. And now I'm going to use um, this bright pink on the next layer. <clears throat> and I'm going to randomly just put um,
um, the, the yellow was Sunshine Yellow by Ranger, and this is um, Fiesta by Ranger. This one, I'm going to um, be a little bit more, maybe do some smaller things, but and maybe say things with, again, more so it does not blend out so much. And I'm going to just have part of one over here. All right. So these really, really went out. You know what? I'm just going to, well, I'm just going to leave that for right now. <clears throat> But let's see how it looks when it overlaps. So there's two big yellow blobs. When I add this, where they overlap, it turns a different color. And that is just, it's just beautiful, beautiful. So I am going to now, because I have more space up here and down here, on my next layer, I'm just going to use some light blue. And I will... I'm going to make something up in this corner. I'm trying to think if I could do a different shape. Maybe if I just do like a big blue circle. Oh, that's not blue. I must have had some other color on there. Use a fresh brush. <clears throat> okay, I'm just, I'm going to try to do just like more of a just more of a circle shape. The inks really, um, they glide really nicely on this, on this plastic. Do a little bit of, uh, oops. I'm doing put this down here it does really spread thin and nicely and it does really um, spread quite a bit it stays wet for a while too so you do have a chance to make some little designs if you would like to Now I'm going to let's take a peek. I got my yellow. Let me get a napkin to cover that up. So I have my yellow. I'm doing my pink, which overlaps. And then I have my blue, which is beautiful and where it overlaps the the blue and the yellow make green. This makes purple. I probably don't have enough <clears throat> overlap or I can bring in another color. Maybe I'll bring in some some purple. So I have my yellow layer, my pink layer, my blue layer. <clears throat> I think what I'll do is make my blue layer a little bit actually even a little bit bigger than it is especially down here just to make sure that it does touch it does touch the pink you get that overlap here this one bigger too Add a little more texture as well. Since I have some pink left, I think I'll do that same thing with my pink. Just sort of in 
enlarge these a little bit because we do want everything to overlap. Create a little bit more. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so we have our yellow background, our pink overlaps, and where it overlaps, it turns orangish red. And then we can, you know, and you can layer them behind or on top because it doesn't really matter. That is beautiful where they overlap. I absolutely love it. I do want to add, I think, one more thing in the middle. Um, or I think what I'll do is just put a little bit of purple in the center of these blues. <clears throat> Let those just blend out on their own to give them a little bit of um, ground, sort of that center. I wonder if I should do something similar with the pink. I could add, I could add a little bit of that darker pink and see if that makes any difference. Sort of making those centers stand out nicely. I don't know because it has a lot of alcohol on it. It actually is not making them necessarily darker. <clears throat> you can see it's almost making it lighter. But you know what? At least it's making it. It defines it a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. So now I think I am ready. yellow, pink, and I'll put the blue underneath. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. And then on top of that, you could do some kind of doodling. Um, could actually do a lot more with this yellow as well, but it just shows how you can layer these sheets and get that overlap and get that transparency really really beautiful and if you wanted to put it in a frame and you wanted it to um, be more 3d you could put little adhesive discs in the corner clear adhesive discs that will keep them separated maybe only by a quarter inch but even that quarter inch um, gives you more of a 3d effect than than having them right on top of each other yeah that's really that's like really beautiful when you have the different layers and they're not really right on top of each other. So that's one way to do it. And then I wanted to um, show one other way to do something a little bit more um, in depth. So these are three layers that I did a little earlier. Um, it's a floral again. I have a abstract sort of background. Again, let me get a, when you're working with those clear materials, you have to make sure you have a nice white background so you can see distinctly what you have. So I have some mushmash of greens there. I have some yellow. And then this layer, I did pink circles with a little bit of blue dots around that really, they really spread out quite a bit. Putting that on top. And I absolutely love this. <laughs> and again, I could separate these so that it gives it a little bit more of a 3D look. But what I want to do is, oops, what I want to do is do a final sheet that has a little bit of um, more detail. So this will actually be four sheets. If I put this on <clears throat> here, just over the top, I've put little dots of white. I think I can layer these now because they are dry. It's a little darker on the on the camera than it is in 
in person. Um, but what I can do is then I can do a little bit of um, like drawing with a acrylic paint pen just to bring out some of those centers a little bit more. Um, can also use a little gold on those leaves. Or you could leave this plain and not do any kind of detail on it whatsoever. So I really think it's a fun thing to do with these layers. Um, and I hope you had fun. And this um, reminds me as I do these doodles that the way that I have been using the the thin type of craft plastic, which is um, 0.007 inches or 175 microns. Um, this is much thinner. It doesn't come with a film on both sides. It just has little sheets of tissue in between. But what you can do is if you have done an alcohol ink painting, and you want to doodle on it and you're just not sure what you want and you're not sure if you should be doing black or white or gold or or what the design should be you can um you know sort of test it out on this on this film and just sort of like really you know go for it really play, figure it out, not be afraid, because you're not doing it on your original. You're just doing it on this plastic and you can wipe this off and use it over and over again. But you can try different things. And see how you like it. Maybe, you know, you do the whole thing or you just do one section in different colors and just sort of see what works best for it. Um, without actually doing it on here. And then once you feel comfortable that you like it, then you can do it on your original. So just another way to use that, um, the craft plastic from Graphics. So I hope you enjoyed um, this little experiment with me. And I'm definitely going to be doing more of this. Um, I'm going to try to post pictures of this in a 6x6 frame where they're a little bit separated. But um, you can do you could do just two layers or you could do six layers. You could also ink on both sides of the plastic. And that way, even if you only use one or two sheets, you'd still have four layers. So just have fun with it. Um, it's a really, really fun medium. And I will see you next time. Thanks. It's a life-changing opportunity.